this is it. Hi, I'm Stephanie Birdsall and I'll be your plein air artist today. And this looks like a good spot. It's got all the elements that I want. The barn, the silo, the dark tree, the sunlit foreground. It's got all the elements we need to make a good painting. Now, this would have started as a monochromatic block in or underpainting. Um, because I didn't, I used all the one color, the ochre color, to, to state everything. I consider that a monochromatic beginning. Now I'm going to start to put color in, darks to lights, and I, I may be using a little bit of complementary in some areas. But again, I'm, I want to work dark to light always, and I just want to make some statements. What I keep going over are really my most important elements. This is, again, it's my map to the way my painting's gonna develop. And The light is changing so quickly. So I'm going to wash this in again. I have to tell you, when I am plein air painting, I definitely have an adrenaline rush because the light is changing so quickly and I've got to work really quickly and it's exciting. So let's get on with this. Okay, I'm putting in, restating my darks and the predominant shapes. And there's nothing better than being outdoors on a gorgeous day. Okay, let's go with this again. See, I'm building up a color base right now. Now, I've got enough, I think, color picked up on my brush that I can put in really lightly some of the green trees that are in a lighter value behind this. I don't have to add any more pastel at this point. So my darkest dark is really, I'm going to, although the light's changed, it's going to be this area of the tree. So to get really dark, I'll use a dark green. It's either a Ludwig or a Great American. But we talked about having this dark shape next to that light and light next to that. So I'm, try, I'm keeping in mind the original theory. And that's a great thing. I've got my drawing right here so I can refer to it. I can look and go back to my original concept, which is great. I can make a correction right now that that's behind there. So I'm now, now going to take a whole bind. I'm going to work this dark green up a little bit as a way of blending it. There's a light spot. Again, I can look at my drawing. I remember there was a little light spot in here where there's light coming through. We had, we had light, we had light, we had dark over here. Then I'll go back with a little more of the hard pastel over the soft here. It makes a great way of blending and it just keeps your color clean. Okay. 
in here. I, it, I keep it really, really, really light. I, it's almost I make transparent. If I were to drag this across right now and show you. Um, I keep this so transparent that you can literally see through my strokes. Can you get, get close on that? Can you see how? Your, my color gets to come through. It's so light. And that way I can just continue to put more and more layers on. I still try and think big shapes. Can always break them down. I go just a little darker in my shadow here. Back to using the hard pastels over some of the soft here. Make suggestions. But I like having my original underpainting showing through in some of these areas. Oh.